Today, my class presentation is on evolution. Don't you mean evolution? Well, besides the valid concept of microevolution, the concept of macroevolution is evil. Well, what's the difference? Microevolution is why there's variation within a species. For example, there are different breeds of dogs due to adaptation and natural selection, but they're all dogs. Isn't that just evolution? Macroevolution is a stretch of the imagination. It requires that a species must take extra genetic information. So dinosaurs becoming birds, apes becoming humans, can't happen. Adaptation can only work for genetic information that's already there. It can't make anything new. So you're saying we've all been brainwashed? You know, there was a time in society when scientists actually concurred with scripture. Hey, everybody knows we evolved from apes. If you believe in macroevolution, then you also believe we evolved from a rock. It's funny how you believe the most ridiculous concepts of creation just as long as you're not accountable for your actions. By the way, the missing link, it's still missing. Dude, if we did evolve from apes, there would be an overabundance of fossilized evidence of transitional forms of species. So far, zilch. Oh yeah, what about the dinosaurs? They're mentioned several times in the Bible. Oh, come on. All right, listen. Archaeologists have found unfossilized dinosaur bones and red blood cells from a T-Rex. These two findings alone would be a scientific impossibility if dinosaurs existed 65 million years ago. You forgot about carbon dating, smart guy. Carbon dating and all other forms of radiometric dating are so flawed that scientists don't even want to use them anymore to determine the age of fossils. So how do they determine the age? They look at the layers of rock, place their own dates on these layers, and whatever layer the fossil falls on, voila, there's your age. Even though the carbon dating results say otherwise. How's that for exact science? So all these religions, the Buddhist, the Muslim, the Hindu, they're all going to hell. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Okay, here's a coincidence for you. Almost every religion in the world is based on works. Christianity is grace through faith, no works, period. La, 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 la. I really don't care what you say. I'm going to do what I want to do. Well, you can do what you want to do, but uh, you're going to die. 150,000 people do it every day. You could be one of them. You're going to bet on that cold shoulder of pride that you're not going to be judged? All right, smart guy. You seem to have all the answers. What do I got to do? Swallow your pride. Drop your doubt. Unharden your heart. Repent of your sins, turn away from your sins, not just go to a priest every week and confess, and trust in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. It's as simple as that. Remember, God does not want you in hell, but Jesus himself said, Truly, truly, I say unto you, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I strongly urge you to think about that before making the biggest mistake in your eternal existence.